on Toronto right now. Live look at Young, right at Melrose. That's uh, halfway between Lawrence and uh, and York Mills and Wilson. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Let's talk about them roads, Frankish. Yeah, this is this is neat. I, 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 I was I stopped and people who, who saw me yesterday at Young and Melrose saw me with my camera in the middle of the street taking a what picture. I tweeted out a picture uh, of a pothole. Oh. It, it's it, it's actually kind of a neat story. I was going I had a doctor's appointment up there, so I'm driving. I'm walking along and I look. That's neat. So take a look. So so Tony, let, let's take a closer look. So we'll show you where we are, Young and Melrose. There we go. Now zoom into the pothole in question. There's about three of them in a row there, and they're they're fairly big. They will small, swallow a small a Volkswagen. Really? No, I'm not kidding, no. Uh, but take a close look. Get right into that pothole. Get right into it. Oh, yeah, that, that could blow a tire. Get right into it. It's going to be tougher with the traffic here. Can you see the, uh, the streetcar tracks and the brick? Yeah. They covered it. They paved over it. Let me, let me, uh, this is the picture, actually, I tweeted, out, uh, I tweeted out yesterday. So there you go. You get a better look at it. Back in 1929. You know what? You're right. Really? You're right. This is what streetcars used to ply Young Street all the way up to Thornhill and Richmond Hill. Uh, it's as, as late as the 1800s and as, or as early as the 1800s, uh, late 1800s and as late as into almost 1950 before they, cool. they were replaced by buses and the subway eventually. All that work with the cobblestone roads, but they look beautiful. So they, so they, they paved over it. It's still there. Kind of a shame. That's what I, well, I love that. It's still history that's sort of hidden beneath the, uh, the pavement. Yeah. Just, they just did some work on Bay Street as well, north of Bloor, and I was driving by there about two, three months ago, and they had taken off the top layer, and there are, are streetcar tracks underneath Bay Street as well that have been hidden for years. But that shows how years. deep these potholes are, which is wreaking <laughs> know, havoc right? on our top. Well, I think too that it doesn't help those streetcar uh, tracks are down there and and the bricks are down there because it probably doesn't it's probably not surface. good for the pavement. Yeah. So they're going to fill that right back over, but it's kind of neat to know that that history will will, cool. will always be there. But again, for current day drivers when you see this stuff, you know, tweet about it, enjoy it <laughs> safely from a distance and then call 311 to pave it see, up. Potholes can That's be what we're learning. Potholes can be neat too. <laughs> We went from ice holes to potholes. What's left? <laughs> Pie holes. They won't let me near the whipped cream again, though. <laughs> I know. I, I don't understand what she says half the time either. What do you um, mean? So, so, your pie holes, your mouth. I know. Um, Isn't it? Why won't they let you near the whipped cream? Why? I, I don't want anyone to ask. Because I made a mess of it earlier. Were, were, were you watching oh, the show? Oh, oh okay. Oh, with that reference. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay, it wasn't. Gosh. Anyway. The show is off the rails. Get it back on. You know